Congratulations. That was a really solid match, I think, from both of you. But you hit 19 winners tonight. How locked in did you feel from the start? It felt like it was a, a really fresh version of your tennis out there. Did you feel that way? No, not at all. Actually, I felt um, a, little, a little sluggish out there. But um, I don't know. I felt like I could play. I felt a little disappointed, actually. But I felt like I just need to keep playing these matches. Yeah, congrats on the win today. And uh, um, so your next round opponent is uh, Alexandrova. Um, you haven't played her before, but over the years, how? Um, I mean, how how has it become? I mean, in terms of channeling your focus on you know facing someone for the first time. Um, I face a lot of players for the first time, so it's just really about going out there and um, doing a little studying about their game and. Uh, then going from there and playing. Next question. Yeah. Serena, could you talk about how you felt your movement was tonight, especially considering you had at least two great points where you turned around the point with a great one hand backhand and stretch and got the point the neutral and then won the point. So as the match progressed, how did you feel about your movement in tonight's match against Elise? Yeah, I feel like my movement is great. I've um, been working on my fitness. So I felt like it really was able to shine through today. And I don't know, I'm loving going out there and I'm loving kind of running. So it's a good thing. Um, you were down a break in both sets, but then you quickly were able to turn it around. Uh, what was she doing that was giving you trouble? And what adjustments did you make to respond? Um, I know when I got down one break, I got real negative. but. And I don't know what happened on the first time I got down. I think she just played really well. Um, she's obviously a really good player. So, um, yeah, I just needed to just double down and get more focused. Serena, how enjoyable was that Essence Magazine photo shoot that you had, considering that you seemed very excited with it? And how also enjoyable was the Ripley's Aquarium the other day with the family? Well, the Essence magazine cover was incredibly enjoyable, um, mostly because of the face paint and learning about different tribes in Africa and learning about what he was painting on my face meant. And I really got emotional at one point because being African-American, I don't really know my roots. So it was really cool to meet someone, and he's from Nigeria, and to just have him say how much I mean in Africa and I understand I know how much Africa means to me and then to have the art of people and tribes that are my history just was like really amazing and so it was just it was really yeah it was just really amazing so it was it was a great thing uh, the aquarium was fun <laughs> Olympia loves aquariums Serena, the crowd loved you tonight. Uh, other than the footwork that you've been mentioning, working on, can you share some of the things that you had to do in preparation for playing Rogers Cup? Your performance was really, really good tonight. Really? Really? <laughs> and your coach agrees too, I think. Yeah. Really? I need to go back and watch that. I don't know. I just, I don't know why I felt sluggish then. I don't know. Um, that's good to hear. I actually had more time prepared for the Rogers Cup than I did for Wimbledon, so that's just <laughs> no joke. And, you know, I just am like, now that I'm just injury-free, I'm just enjoying being able to train, and I haven't been able to do it since January, really. Um, so I just think that the fact that I can train and practice and get in the gym is really going to be helpful for me. Serena, today Rogers Cup did a Pride Day, uh, and encouraging inclusivity not only for fans but also within the sport itself. What have you seen in the 20 years that you've been on tour that tennis has done to, to lead the way as far as uh, the LGBT movement goes? You know, that's a really good question. Um, I've, I think this is the first time that I've seen something being done, so I can't say that um, I've, I've seen much more. You know, I can't. Yeah, that's a really good question. So this is the first time I actually seen it. So, would you like to say 
Yeah, I think it's interesting to um, to just you know for the tournament in particular to be all inclusive, and I always preach just love. And I think if we just have love amongst each other, then we could just do a lot better.